Hi, this is Jason West. In this video, I'm going to attempt to clarify what exactly you can do with Kartra Checkout in terms of Kartra Checkout pages. So with Kartra, you've got two main options. You can use their standard checkout page layout, or you can create your own page and embed the checkout within that page. So there's the two clear ways. So if I go to my products, and let's just... Um, edit a product here any product will do and then we'll go to the part where we we're choosing how the checkout looks so that is usually about there the fourth circle along so i'll just skip through this part here this is where you would choose your pricing and everything uh, add shipping costs sales tax your refund policy and then um, we've got the product page and then the thank you page here but this is where we start looking at the actual checkout itself and what it looks like. So if I go to change here, then you can see the um, standard Kartra hosted checkout page. And there's a number of different templates. So I'll just whiz through a few. You can just see them there. You know, there's, there's different like checkout to the left, checkout to the right, all different boxes, different um, color schemes and everything as well. And then you can preview anytime you want by just clicking on the eye there like this. There you go. So that's a really nice, neat looking checkout um, page. Uh, billing information there, payment information there. Of course, you can take like credit card through Stripe or PayPal with Kartra too and add your own logo. So it's fairly basic. But, you know, apparently these are high converting layouts as tested by Kartra. Um, which I certainly would believe. Obviously, they see a lot of transactions go through. They'll have the data as to which, which ones are converting well. So there's another one. Um, and you can, as I say, uh, usually change the color scheme, I think, of some of these. If we just nip through, it tells you the color scheme there. But you can also do an overlay pop-up window one where on your website, you'll have a button and you click it and then it will open up a small checkout window. Um, you can embed the checkout into a custom page, which is really good on your own uh, page, or you can do your own uh, custom design as well. So there's a lot of options with the checkout. You can upload your logo and you also get to put your own Kartra help desk icon on the checkout if you want to, in case anyone was having a problem checking out. So that's that's pretty much it. You can abandon people if they if they decide to bail when they've hit the checkout and they're in your lead system already. Then we can send them an email to say, hey, I've seen you visited the checkout, but you didn't buy. Um, what's happening or, or whatever. You can do bump offers where you have the little sort of uh, cutout area down the bottom where they can add something for a little bit more money. Um, so that's really good. Now, going back to the pages, let me show you how you can make it look for yourself if you want to. If I just get the URL here of this particular checkout, uh, there we are. This is my own version of a checkout created with Kartra. So I've created the page. As you can see, I've got a countdown timer on there as well. And this is details of my new training program, actually, the uh, paid courses training program. If you're interested in learning how to sell courses online, um, I've sell uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of online courses now, then you might want to check out paidcourses.com. Um, but this is the checkout there. And this is embedded. So this, this part here is embedded and the rest of it is your page. And then you've got, um, you know, the, the chance to go and put anything you want on the page. If you want testimonials on there like this, guarantee uh, sort of logos and icons there, your help desk down there. You can really make the checkout page look exactly the way you want. And then make sure, of course, that it's optimized for uh, mobile as well, because so many people use mobiles now to do everything. So there's your options. If we go to this part here, if I click create new page, there is a number of pre-done page checkouts uh, or checkout pages even in, in English there as well to sort of kick you off. Like there's one. Let's just select that a moment and then uh, launch the builder and you'll see how it works. Oh, we've got to select a category. There we are. And you can create multiple checkouts. If you've got loads of different products, 
You can you know, create dedicated checkouts for each product, or you can use kind of a generic one and then the product itself will just change within it. So that's another way of doing it. Here we are, it's just loading up now. And there we go, I've got a lot going on on my uh, poor little Mac Mini at the moment. So my, my hard drive is burning around and processors whirring. There we go. So there's, there's a, a layout for you all done um, with the checkout. And as you can see, it's embedded there and you get to choose what product is being promoted there. So you select your product from here. So let's say I wanna do this um, particular funnel, my agency website funnel. And if you want a funnel, by the way, all pre-done in Karcher, I'll put a link under this video, but save you hours and it will bring in all of this stuff for you. Uh, jasonwest.com forward stroke funnel shop, all one word, but I'll put it underneath. Um, but I can just select the price. If Do I want to give people the opportunity to choose the price of that product if there's multiple prices? Or do I just want to put the monthly option or the one payment option or both? So I'll just put multi price points, click apply, and then that is now done. And if we go to publish that page, I'll just show you what it looks like. There we go. So that's it. See, see how it's there? It's all there. You've got the, the agency. There's three different prices there for the agency funnel. Um, and then we've got the tablet view up here. Good to just check and see how it looks on the different views, especially mobile, as I say. So I would probably want to adjust this a little bit so that this was higher up the page for mobile, which is totally doable. But if we just publish that live a moment or just click preview, I think that'll do. Let's have a little look at what that checkout looks like, that checkout page. There we go. So that will now open up. You can see it says connecting to secure payment server. And then there we are. So that's what it will look like to the person visiting your checkout. And then you just click continue. If they want to choose the different product prices, if you've got coupon code there as well, you can have that. So pretty straightforward. So that is the way that you create uh, Kartra checkout pages. You can use their own generic kind of um, standard checkout pages with numerous designs, or you get to kind of create and edit the page again using their designs if you want to, or you can just create a complete from scratch checkout page and have it, you know, make it look like your your existing checkout. Maybe if you're using Samcart or Thrivecart, you can make it look just the same as like any checkout ever because the page build is so flexible. Um, so there you are. Hope that's helped you if you're looking to find out how to deal with uh, the checkout pages in Kartra. Again, if you need some help, you want some pre-done funnels, um, I can really help you and save you an awful lot of time with that. Just check out the link beneath this video. Have a great day. Speak to you soon.